sparkle as well here at the zoo. Here's 13 ABC's Tony Geffen. Inside of this cooler, it's 23 degrees. But the robot carving a Christmas tree out of ice can hack it. So can the men behind the machine. They're part of Ice Creations, a five-person operation in Napoleon. Corporate events, weddings, graduations. During the winter time, we obviously do a lot of winter festivals. Festivals, including the lights before Christmas, where Ice Creations has sculpted on site since 2002. Chad Hartz informed the company after graduating from culinary school, where he learned to carve ice. From that point on, it pretty much made my decision that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and I didn't really want to work in a kitchen anymore. Last year, Hartson bought the old Napoleon Creamery and opened up shop here. It's a perfect fit for freezing water into blocks of ice. These machines are where we make the blocks of ice at. As you can see, this one's a little cloudy, but this block over here is crystal clear. Once the blocks are frozen, the artists at Ice Creations get to work. That robot is only one way to break the ice. The rest is done by hand. It starts with a real basic drawing like this one. They lay it over one of those giant blocks of ice and then they use the tools of the trade to carve it. Now might be a good time to mention, do not try this at home. Ryan Roth says he was working in retail management when his high school buddy hired him last year. I've always done painting and drawing and stuff like that, so. It was nice to come in and new, learn a new trait. 13 ABC got to see Roth skills firsthand. Once the carving is done, it's time for the finishing torches. Voila, a sparkling ice creation is ready to be stored and shipped to a festival near you. In Napoleon, Tony Aptis, 13 ABC Action News. It's just amazing and from that